Welcome to another session with the Dental Advisor where we talk about finishing and polishing of composite restorations. We start with the number 12 blade and this is used for flash removal as well as finishing the margins with gentle upward strokes so that you don't injure the gingiva. The next step is to use an air rotor burr, a coarse diamond without the water coolant in an air rotor. Well, some of you may be wondering, what about the tooth? Is it going to get fried? Well, not if your assistant is directing a blast of air using a three-way syringe on the head of the burr as you use it to cut down the composite. The next step is to use a coarse diamond disc. And this is used with an air rotor handpiece. And again, no water, which means, hey, your assistant is going to have to direct some air with a three-way syringe as you remove the composite with the disc. In this video, I've used the Shofu Super Snap. These are color-coded discs and black stands for coarse. Step number three is to use a medium grit diamond disc. In this case, I'm using the green color Shofu Super Snap. You may use anything that you like to use. But most importantly, remember that this is still used without water. So, hey assistant, direct that air. We finally arrived at the polishing stage after finishing. And this we begin with the Shofu Super Buff. Now it's important now to remember that while polishing, you always use water. Polish the surface of the composite using gentle strokes with mild to moderate pressure. By the end of the use of the Shofu Super Buff, you may be tempted to leave the composite just as it is because the effect that you get after you finish with it is quite dramatic. And now we move on to the polishing final step where you use a rubber bonded abrasive, diamond particles impregnated into some sort of shaped rubber, used under water with an air motor or micro motor. At this point, you would like to use quite heavy pressure. You literally have to see this rubber point reducing in size as you polish. There you have it. Thank you for patiently watching. If you have any questions, do leave some comments and I will answer.